I just want to say first that you look stunning and I look like I just walked off the street and rolled out of a rug. Okay, and thank so, you. I was praying to God every night, first of all, as a kid. Like, can you please just wake me up as a girl tomorrow, like, and big, you know, in that movie? Like, I just want to wake up the next day <laughs> and just be good and just right. ha happy-go-lucky. Like, I'm such a joyful spirit. I grew up just thinking, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to go through life as, like, a gay dude, I guess. Even though I knew inside, like, I wish, you know, I could wake up tomorrow as a girl. There's a lot of support in within the gay community. But being trans is a different story. It's not necessarily about who you love. It's about your gender identity and the way that you express yourself. It's all about the individual experience, so it's very lonely. Hearing that it's such a lonely process, that's just something that um, I just don't want any kid to have to deal with. It's so scary and it's overwhelming and sometimes you just feel like, oh my gosh, you know, like is this gonna be my whole life? Is this transition gonna take, uh, how long is it gonna take? Like you, you get that hopelessness. It really shakes you to your core. That's why, you know, I always say having a strong core is important because that will get you through those lonely times and those lonely days. What would you say to LGBTQ youth who are at an age or a period in their life where they're questioning or they're not sure or they're feeling unsafe or they're feeling powerless? You have to first develop self-love and learn what self-love is. Like self-love is not being egotistical. It's not being oppressive. It's not wanting to feel better than. It's just feeling comfortable in who you are, understanding who you are, and letting it flow, and letting people into who you are. You stand as a really powerful statement to so many kids who are probably in a place right now that's very vulnerable. I hope that they get to see you, all your power and shine, and say, that could be me, and that's going to be me. Yeah, definitely. You know? You know what it is? It's that there's so many kids that are voiceless and they don't have that courage, I feel, to be vocal and to explain how they feel and who they feel that they are. For me, I've always wanted to be able to be a voice to the younger generation that's going through that struggle and can't put it into words because I went through that too. I need to be an amazing activist and I need to do my best in order to help the cause. I have to be strong and I have to tell myself I belong here. Like I have to go back to my affirmations and say like, I am loved, I am worthy. Like all of those things are so important to tell yourself and believe it. Well, I think you are absolutely beautiful and powerful and what you are doing for our transgender youth, especially, I'm sure is so much beyond comprehension. You're amazing. Thank you, Dan. Thank you so much.